William Powell have been around a long time, and they've recently released this. This is their new side-by-side -side side log, the Viscount. So this little beauty is in 20 ball and it is one of William Powell's Continental guns, meaning that it is not made in the UK, although it is finished here in some respect as far as I'm aware. It is made in Italy uh, with, I believe, B. Rizzini as the, the build partner on this. However, far from saying that it is just a Continental gun, it has a lot of British refinement about it, a lot of British refinement about it, and I must admit, I actually think it's all right. Not really all right. But let's look over it and see why that may be. Before we go on, it should be said that this, with an English name on, but a continental build, means that it is very reasonably priced by comparison to what it would be if it was made in England. It is £11,000. However, included in that price, and this is important, it comes in a fitted case, but more importantly, the gun is made with complete custom measurements just for you. That, straight away, suddenly actually kind of indicates why it's worth what it's worth, because you're getting the fitting, you're getting every little piece you could want done. There is an extras price list, and we'll have a quick look at that later, uh, of other stuff you can get if you want. But before we do that, let's look at this beautiful thing. The wood, I believe they call it as a grade five. Whatever grade you want to call it, it's a very pretty piece of wood. And for all their images and uh, PR they've done with this, I think that it's a very pretty gun. I think you'll agree. So you can upgrade this if you feel the need to get something more beautiful. Uh, I think that starts from the exhibition grade walnut, about two and a half thousand pounds, from two and a half thousand pounds and up. Obviously, each piece of wood is priced differently. So that will cost different amounts of money. The trickery is all hand done. This is where it starts to get nice. This is where you start to see what you're paying for. Obviously, the wood is worth a certain amount of money. It's very pretty. But this is where it starts to get nice. A hand checkered stock, and it is beautifully tight checkering, perfect, beautiful borders, everything on the checkering is done to perfection. And I must admit, it's one of my favorite things about this gun. When you pick it up, you automatically realize, if you're a bit of a gun lover, that that's got that classic hand engraved feel, or hand checkered feel, sorry. And when you pick it up, you go, yeah, this feels like a gun should, whereas a, a laser engraved gun, or a laser checkered gun, sorry, I mean, a laser checkered gun or a machine checkered gun just doesn't have that very lovely feel. I can't believe I just slapped it. It was almost half offensive. Drop points. They're quite nice. All hand cut, obviously. And these stocks are all hand finished and come in the best wool finish. It's really very nicely done. One of my favourite bits about the top of this gun is the top of this gun. So, the beading around the fences is gorgeous. The top lever is extremely sleek and slim and just the right proportions. The wood metal fit is exceptional. There's only one little mark there, but that doesn't really matter and the safety catch. Okay, call me a bit of a loser for thinking this safety catch is gorgeous, but that safety catch is genuinely gorgeous. It's just different enough, it's just loud enough. I mean, it's a bit beautiful. That's all I can say about it. It's just a bit beautiful. It, it, it's, it's nice. There you go. I know, that's stupid. Non-selective double triggers, obviously. Oh, do double, double triggers count as selective? I don't really know. I guess they are. You select with your finger. Beautiful double triggers. The triggers in your hand feel beautiful. The radius is exceptional. And that front trigger is hinged with a very light spring. You feel very refined. But everything about this little twin ball is extremely refined. And now we're on to the coin finished metalwork. This gun is a true side lock. This is why it is more expensive than the other, apart from some other little things. It is much more refined than what makes it its top end gun. The engraving is done at Bottega Giovanelli, so it is a laser cut gun and then it's hand finished. And you can really tell the hand finishing uh, through all of these scrolls, every little piece is picked out. And that actually runs from the side lock onto the actual action itself, flawlessly. It's a very nicely finished and put together piece. I genuinely really like it. Fine scroll, bouquet of flowers on the bottom there. It looks as good as you could ever want a gun to look. I think we'll agree on that, if nothing else. With the Viscount put on the bottom there, beautiful beading on the sides. It's a good looking gun, I'm going to say. It's a really good looking gun. One little thing that I love is the long trigger tag. It's a lovely thing. It can come with an oval, by the way. Uh, it's a nice little extra that they do, but 
it doesn't come with a standard, which oh, I get not many people actually fill their ovals nowadays, so why order one if you don't want one? If you're ordering one, it comes with custom stock measurements, so you can order one, chuck it in, and it's extra like 300 quid. It's not killer money on top of what the gun costs anyway. The forend. The forend is actually something that I really like. The wood to metal fit on the forend is nothing shy of some of the best out there. You know, some of the best out there. And goes for every piece. I don't have a lot more to say about it. It's not really that much more excitement to it than it's a it's a forend. It is more bulbous than one would expect, but that is part and parcel of it being probably harder and probably well certainly better put together than a lot of the stuff out there today. Um, or than a lot of stuff that would have been if you got an older gun. Which brings us on to part of the good stuff about this gun, which is the barrels. And what you're getting when you buy this gun, a modern gun over something older, not that it's a big issue here, it is superior steel proofed up to half choke in both the 12 ball and the 20 ball, which is a nice thing ongoing for a side by side, at least. Something that I think is really smart, and again, versus the price of the gun, remembering, a spare set of barrels for this is 2,100 pounds, I think the website says. I think that's quite reasonable. There is a surcharge of a few hundred quid for a 32 inch. Other than that, you can have it in whatever length you like. There you go. I think that's quite nice. I think the barrels are very good, very smart. It is here that they say, and this is my only gripe with this entire gun, this entire gun, and well, I'm sure someone will say I'm being too picky, but you can click that on. You can see it says here, exclusively made for, for, to William, to William, for William Powell in Italy, which is a nice touch, don't get me wrong. But it does kind of annoy me that it's not more discreet when you clip that forend on. And I understand that's just the way it is. And I'm sure the 12 is different. These barrels are fixed choke. They do multi-chokes as well. In fact, they do pretty much anything you want. When you look at the accessories price list or the optional extras price list, well, the world is your oyster. How does it balance? Well, they're all going to balance differently and all handle differently. And that is the beauty of picking your own wood and picking your own gun and having something custom built. That's quite exciting. This one, that's a little bit over the front of the hinge pin, to be honest. But where it's a 20 ball, it actually almost lends itself to it because it's not very heavy at all. Anyway, we're going to go out and have a few shots of it. So with clay ground still a little bit iffy about shooting with non-shooting guests or filming, uh, we just come at the top with an ancient looking clay trap and we're going to have a go for this beautiful 20 ball. So the William Powell by count, what do we think? Firstly, this little 24 shoots like a dream. Points of interest, the double triggers are some of the finest triggers I've pulled in a while. The brakes are so clean and so beautiful. Secondly, it's very often in life that people charge more money for more prestige and exclusivity and actually not much more in terms of gun making or niceness. I think, hands down, this Viscount is worth twice what the Sovereign is. Everything about it just screams finish. It almost deserves that little England name on the top there. I say it almost deserves it. It does deserve it. I really like it. It's not just a cheap dressed up gun to make it look like it's worth more money. This is a truly beautiful side lock made to a modern standard. It shoots well. It's got good barrels. It's hand engraved enough, it's checkered enough, and actually, I don't begrudge it being worth 11 grand at all. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed having a look over this beautiful, beautiful piece of engineering. I suppose, beautiful piece of gun making. Take care, guys.